Have you ever stopped to consider the sheer improbability of your own existence? It's a thought that's both bewildering and honestly, wonderful. Look at your hands. Listen to your own breathing. You are the result of a chain of events so long, so complex, and so fantastically lucky that it almost defies belief. Every step in this journey, from the formation of our planet to the meeting of your distant ancestors, was a gamble, a cosmic lottery. Had just one of those countless moments gone differently, the world as we know it would not be here. And, well, neither would you. It is the greatest story ever told, and it is your story. Across the vast, dark expanse of the universe, life itself may not be so rare. Imagine our planet, not as the vibrant blue and green marble we know today, but as a very different world. For the first few billion years, Earth's story was one of profound quiet. Life was here, yes, but hidden from view. The dominant life forms were microscopic, single-celled creatures. They were the architects of our world, though their work was almost imperceptibly slow. In shallow seas they learned a remarkable trick, photosynthesis. They harnessed the sun and in doing so released a waste product. That waste product was oxygen. At first, oxygen was a poison to much early life, but over hundreds of millions of years it accumulated, changing the atmosphere and paving the way for new life. It's a time scale hard to grasp. For three billion years, this was our world. Every breath you take is a gift from these microscopic ancestors, the silent giants upon whose shoulders all complex life stands. For well over 150 million years they were the undisputed masters of our world, the dinosaurs, towering giants that shook the ground, small feathered hunters that darted through the undergrowth. 66 million years ago, a rock the size of a mountain was hurtling through space. It struck in what is now the Gulf of Mexico with unimaginable force. It triggered earthquakes, tsunamis, and sent a plume of superheated rock and dust high into the atmosphere, encircling the globe in a shroud of darkness. The sun was blotted out. The world that followed was a living nightmare. Without sunlight, plants withered and died. The entire food chain collapsed. First the herbivores starved, then the carnivores followed. The great dinosaurs were doomed, but in the shadow of devastation a new world was about to begin. Hiding in the ruins were our distant ancestors, small, shrew-like mammals. They had a key advantage. They were small, they were warm-blooded, they could survive on scraps like insects and roots. The extinction of the dinosaurs was their golden opportunity. With the giants gone, a world of possibilities opened up. This was the dawn of the age of mammals. After the dinosaurs vanished, our mammalian ancestors flourished. They grew larger, they grew smarter, they grew more diverse. Among them, the primates, taking to the trees, grasping hands,